Um, yeah, so Sora gets the clothes and some training in Olympus. Because he's shown in Olympus with some clothes and stuff. And then, like, the Heartless attack Thebes or something. Yeah. So. Yeah, but he's going to have to deal with the Titans because he fights the Rock Titan. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah. though. The, uh... Like, will he have to? Will it just be Rock Titan, or will it be the other? It would nice to see the. It would ni be nice to see the other Titans. <laughs> Peepstone. Peep yes. Oh man, that is a forum title if I ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a like sixteen-year-old's cool, hip and trendy forum name. It's pretty good. But yeah, no, I I like your theory of uh, Zeus. Like training him up, uh, which and is I also likely. like said that maybe Zeus might have an idea about what's going on with Xehanort and will volunteer to help because Disney's Disney Zeus is not an asshole like actual <laughs> Zeus. Yeah, yeah, D Disney Zeus is is all right. Well, actually, you say he's not an asshole. He's quite mean to Hades. I mean, Hades deserves it to an extent, but still, he is quite cruel. Yeah, but I mean, in terms of like dealing with mortals. Yeah. Um, yeah, he doesn't just kill them. <laughs> yeah, no. Or, or like, uh, did he? I mean, I'm not gonna say. I'm not saying this out of like I'm making a joke. Did he actually genuinely rape them, or is that a different story? I'm thinking. Of? So I know um, there are some. I like. I know like Frollo did to Esmeralda and stuff. I don't know if Zeus did in mythology. That's the interesting thing. Is like so. A lot of times Zeus would disguise himself um, uh, as some sort of mortal. In terms of Hercules. Um, actually, Zeus disguised himself as the mother's husband, like, oh. about a day or so before he came back from war, and so they slept together, and then, like, the dad, the actual father came back, and then they slept together again, and so Hercules actually has a twin brother, I believe, who's mortal, what and... The fuck? <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, I know nothing about Zeus's mythology, but that is fucked up. <laughs> um, and also, does, like, does Hercules his... kill him? <laughs> yeah. Um. No. Um. But also, so this is Hercules' myth. I don't know if you actually know about Hercules' myth. Not uh, really. But it's but... seriously fucked up. So again, okay. so um, again, you have the mother giving birth to one mortal child, one demigod. Um. Cute. And. So there was, I believe, a snake that had entered the crib of Hercules and his brother, and then Hercules strangled it. That, that was... I thought that was going to a completely different place. I thought you were <laughs> going to say a snake entered her. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I no, thought you were going to no. say Zeus did some really fucked up shit. No, and so... Because um, I believe Her uh, Hercules was sired to fight the, the giants. Um... Because it was said that, because Gaia, the Mother Earth, she got pissed that Zeus, like, you know, chopped up Kronos and, and defeated all the other Titans. And so she um, was like, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, I'm going to have sex with Tartarus, the, the god of the pit, and make the giants. It's a um, pretty big building. And, uh, that's, that's so, good. and the giants cannot be destroyed by just the gods themselves. They have to be, they have to be destroyed by both God and, uh, a god and, um, a demigod. So, um, Hercules was, I don't know if intentionally sired for that purpose, I can't remember, but he was the one who fought with the gods, uh, against the giants. But, so, when Hera found out about you know, Hercules, which, by the way, his actual name is Heracles, okay. to appease Hera, because, you know, it's not like this isn't Zeus' millionth affair. Uh, <laughs> um, so, once Hera found out about Hercules, she, I believe he was an adult at that point, already had a wife and children, his wife was Meg. Um, okay. Hera sent Hercules into a madness, and he killed Meg and their children. Um, and in order to make up for that, 
um, and still be a hero or whatever, Hercules had to go through his 12 trials, which the first one, he actually went to went through 13 because the first one, Hera said, didn't count. Um, <laughs> Hera is a bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's an absolute bitch. But at the same time, her husband keeps cheating on her. So, yeah, um, that's not an excuse. Don't drag yeah. your son into this. <laughs> So, like, he goes through his 12 trials, helps the gods with the giants. At some point, he me- he meets Philoctetes, who's actually his, like, uh, Phil is actually not his teacher, but um, a student. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, so, I believe Hercules, like, married somebody else, and I can't remember if Hera put him into the same madness again. Um, but, you know, Hercules had a really fucked up life, um, yeah. so, yeah, like, the, which is, it's funny to see how Disney, like, it's impressive Disney that they made it, it good, <laughs> yeah, it's impressive it's that they changed uh, literally everything, <laughs> yeah, they changed literally everything, because Zeus and Hera well, Hades are, a great guy, <laughs> yeah. um, well, Hades was more of, like, he, Hades didn't want to be a uh, god of the underworld, obviously. Yeah, that's uh, the same in Disney. So, but he's... He... Uh, actually, I don't think there are many, very many stories... Here's, like, the, the bummer thing about Hades. He doesn't have, like, a lot of stories. Um, Is he still voiced but... by James Wood? <laughs> yes. Good. Um, so... Um, I think what it is is, like, most of his stories revolve around him just kind of, like, mortals and demigods enter his domain, and he's like, all right, fine, I'll give you this chance to do it. If you fuck it up, you don't get another chance. He's actually a very fair god, not vengeful at all, and doesn't really, like, um, there's real not not much of a rivalry with Zeus as much as it is in the movie. Mm. Um, cause, you know, Hades should just really care less. He doesn't want a war, he doesn't want anything, he just kinda just wants to be left alone, which is another reason why he kinda, he got stuck with the underworld. Um, and, uh, yeah, so. I've just realized that the, um, Dream Eater has the, uh, the disc. That's super neat. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Uh, That's a nice, that's a nice design. I believe in this, in the U.S. version, he's called Clamantis or something. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, Clamantis. Um, but I believe in the Japanese version, he's called Gigabyte Mantis, which his the boss theme. I'm pretty is sure that's Gigabyte. a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> I summon Gigabyte Mantis in I'm attack mode. I'm actually convinced it is. I uh, could you look uh, that up? Like genuinely, I feel like that actually is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, gigabyte. Like, it, it's, um, if not, it's... it's something very close. <laughs> no, that is, that I'm is just funny. getting Kingdom Hearts right now. Sadness. <laughs> um. this is a pretty cool yeah, fight. no, it's just just Kingdom Hearts stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, Yu I would laugh if there's one. I would actually laugh if it was though. Funny. Insector Gigamantis. Close. I I was close, so. Yeah, it's it doesn't look like Gigabyte Mantis. Yeah. No, I didn't think it would look like it, but I, I was convinced there was one similar. Yeah. Oh, you just reality shift. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Jammer Energy. <laughs> When it started with murder, I thought it was going to be like murder. Oh, that's a bit dark. <laughs> murder. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure, I mean, it's evil and all, but. I mean, come on. <laughs> you don't have to result in murder. G- give it a chance. He probably has a <laughs> wife and kids. Family. <laughs> that Harold will send into a madness and then it will kill. Yeah, it will be a fun time for all. But yeah, Greek mythology is fucked up. Yes, it is. And then Kratos it... comes along and kills Zeus. It's a good time. <laughs> I've actually never played God of War. Oh, man. <laughs> you would love God of War 3. 
I, I have not played all of them. I, I will concede. God of War 3 is a fucking phenomenal game. I love it. I think it's great. I, I do want to get into the God of War series. It might be something I stream when I get fiber. Just like have a couple weeks of just streaming God of War. Because that'd be good. Like, that's what I want to end up doing. Just stream games I haven't played before. Um, or I haven't played in years and just be like, well, I've streamed it in good quality, I'm streaming regularly so I'll probably get a partnership and I can upload it to YouTube as well because it's like a stream playthrough. Like, that'd be cool. That'd be nice. I think it, Clue's head, forehead is like really, really big. Yeah, I think it's the hair. I think it is the hair. I'm sorry. He's got some grease hair going on. Um, a couple years back, um, Jeff Bridges released these, like, sleeping tapes. <laughs> okay. You ever hear about that? No. So it's, it's like this album of, like, him just, like, saying to somebody, I, I think he was high. I don't know. Oh. Um, yeah, that. They're so okay. fucking trippy. <laughs> right. Um, I don't, I don't know. Right, I, I have not heard this, God. but that sounds... Amazing and confusing. Well, like the first first track is just him just like saying sleeping tapes for about thirty seconds. Okay. <laughs> Jeff Bridges sleep tapes. Um. Okay, Sleeping Tapes is a 2015 spoken word slash ambient album by Jeff Bridges with music by Kefis something, I can't remember. Um, no. <laughs> so here's the track listing. Introduction. He's Good evening. Son. Sleep, dream, wake up. Chimes for dreams. Hum. Good morning, sweetheart. See you at the dreaming tree. A glass of water. The raven. The hen. Ikea. The Sea, Temskal Canyon, oh. Feeling Good, Damn. Sleeping With My Eyes Closed, and Good Night, We're All In This Together. I'm not leaving you. Wow. Yeah. So. I bet he has the voice of an angel. <laughs> it's, and the it's brain like... of a madman. <laughs> yes! <laughs> mm. I like that they've pretty accurately captured this scene yeah because i believe the the music is like whoa okay there's a bit more detail into the portal um <laughs> and then riku stays behind and dies <laughs> yeah <laughs> well uh, um you've never seen code lyoko right i haven't no oh okay so like i know so at the end of, yeah so in the, the End of this, um, so the end of this movie, they don't show it here because Tron is, they don't include Tron in, in Riku's story, but, you know, Tron, like, he falls into the sea, right? Mm. I always wondered if the sea works like the digital sea in Code Lyoko, in which if something falls into the digital sea, it is gone forever. Right. So, I always wondered if it worked that way, but I don't think it, I don't think it does, but... It'd be cool, like, it'd be interesting. It's interesting that the world doesn't just explode in this version. Because yep. that would be convenient, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, there we go. Tron world done. Yay! Went pretty well, I think. Sora. Yeah. Oh, I'll take that. Well done, Riku. You, uh... I was. <laughs> you won the world. I believe, I believe the keyblade for this world is called Dual Disc. <laughs> I will have to check that. I will find out in a second. We did, we did get something. Yes, it is. <laughs> dual Disc, like, but yeah. Dual Disc. Dual wield. It's time to duel. Oh, I will never get over that video. Dual wield, dude. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> Um, oh, this reminds me, um, since we last recorded, Square Enix has released a shit ton of merchandise, like, for Kingdom Hearts. Uh, fuck me, god, it's awful. 
I know you don't like the Funko Pops. I love the Funko Pops. Yeah, but... I, they just... Yeah, no, I can see why people like them. For me, it's just, if I'm buying a figure, I want it to look... Like, I want it to look authentic. Um, of a character that I love. Um, it's the same with the Aqua model. Uh, who makes the Aqua one? There is no time to waste. Okay. Hello. You fellas stay here. Hooray! The internet died again. <laughs> um. The the Aqua for anyway because it's died. The Aqua model is basically it's got joints. Um, and the the joints like. Oh, I think I think she's died because I I haven't. Uh, well, that's not good. Timing is too perfect, too calculated. Maleficent must sense a change in the forces of darkness. Hey. Hi. Change. Okay, there we go. Welcome back. <laughs> um, yeah, the, uh, I was saying, I, I can see why people like it. Um, it's just not for me, but the, uh, the Aqua model, who made the Aqua one? It's the Play Arts Kai, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah. I I don't like it because of the way. I I, I'll, I'll explain why. It's the joints. I I oh. understand why they're there because you can move the figure in a way that you want, and I like that aspect of it. The problem I don't the problem I have with it is it looks so much like their joints, and not it doesn't look natural in the way oh. that if that makes sense. I, I, pretty much all of my figures are solid masses. They're not movable things, with the exception of Igus. But there are some there are some models which just work, like with that joint thing, because it's the color scheme. It's hard to see it, but with just normal skin, it looks so obvious, and it just bugs me a little mm -hmm. bit. But that's just me. But yeah, you were gonna say about the rest of them. Oh yeah, so like, actually, let me bring up Cage Thirteen because uh, so some necklaces were released. Um, let's see. Is Travis Town the... for both characters or? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, there Fungo's gonna be releasing plushies of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. Okay. That's um, cool. um, fucking Seth Kearsley, the the hero we we deserve. <laughs> um. He's he's trying to get the Kingdom Hearts TV show back. Yes, yeah. Um, I saw that. I love how in like the stills nice or the, like, the screenshots what happened? Uh, that he was like gonna pitch to them. Like Jafar and Maleficent are talking. Maleficent just stares at him and he flies out the room. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty um, awesome. And so he said that what he would like, he mentioned that the project would be an anime <laughs> developed by Mir Studios. With the Disney characters and cartoon style developed by an external studio, um, and it would take place in an alternate timeline, which I like. I like the idea of it being an anime. Yeah, I also like the idea of an alternate timeline because they can do whatever they want with it and not screw up our law. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also um, until the point where we prefer that law, and then, <laughs> and then it ruins the games. Um, the there was an unboxing for the Roxas Play Arts Kai. Um, a set of Kingdom Hearts rockers, which I don't know what these are. Um, are they the mini figures that looks like monstrosities? I think so. Yeah, they look funny. They look they funny. Look so they look so awful. Yeah, they look they look they look awful. They look and like Korra's the face. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the, the, the domes or the doms, whatever you call them. The domes. Those also look really, really um, unnerving. They're so yeah, they've released a lot of merchandise. The, but it's the dome kind of ones awesome. might be the ones I was thinking of. They're just so ugly. But the rockers ones also look weird. So I think the best, best um, merchandise would be the necklaces and the Funko Pops. Oh yeah, I saw the necklaces. I was like, oh, those are really cool. That'd be a good gift. Oh, 150 dollars. Shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. It's like, oh, that's really cool for like 40 dollars. Um... Ah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, st uh, I'll stick to my cheap knockoffs. Thanks. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I 
Yeah, no disrespect to Achieve Knockoffs, they're really cool and really well made. Yeah, no, they're re they're re they're awesome. So, so I get a lot of compliments them. on them. But, but you know, but oh, that's so expensive. What are they made of? It better be something really rare. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's gotta be. For, it's, it's gotta be some fine metal for for it to be worth that. Is it actual silver? If it's actual silver, that's pretty good, actually. I wouldn't mind that. Um, let's see. Um, fun fact, I can't remember. Um, I, I say can't remember, I don't know exactly what type it is. It's a metal that looks like silver, but isn't. I don't know which one, because I was... I, there have been a couple of times where I was like looking for a, a necklace for my nan. Um, for a birthday a couple years back, and the uh, neck, the metal itself, just by touching it, made my hand instantly red, like oh wow, like completely, like there was no skin left. <laughs> kind of I was like, oh man, um, I have no idea what that was uh, that did that to me exactly. But I just, I'm very cautious of touching metal now. I'm just like, okay, what is this? <laughs> is it gonna, is it gonna absolutely kill me? I'm just not not a fan of it anymore. It's I I don't know. It's it's like the uh, Maleficent film, where like that was it iron, <laughs> where it just really damaged her. It was exactly like that. Oh okay. Also, I have no um, idea. Oh yeah, I'm so they're they are all silver. Oh, that that's pretty good then. If it's actually silver, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the the Wayfinder Aqua's Wayfinder necklace is silver with some cubic zirconia in it. Um, so. They're like all sparkly. Yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Like, that, that's the thing. I mean, if it's... It's not like... It's not a cheap material, so I, I, I'll I forgive it a little bit more. It's still way too expensive for me, but... Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I, I respect it a little bit more, because... I was just like, oh, God, really? Like, that much? <laughs> you couldn't have made it a little bit more affordable? Would be a good gift one day for someone, but no. 